I suppose looking back, um, my earliest GA memory from a, a visual and a Cork perspective was the uh, 1973 All Ireland football final. Cork uh, got to a final for the first time in a while, hadn't won it in a while, and uh, um, we all uh, were looking on a great interest, and in particular with this young 19 year old and Jimmy Barry Murphy in the skinhead haircut and making his, his breakthrough, and uh, we all, as young fellas, very envious of him. I suppose from my own perspective, it would be uh, out the back down at home in Fountainstown, uh, hitting the ball against the wall and um, playing hurling with my brothers and sisters and, uh, and uh, I suppose one of the things that, that, uh, it, that always would come back to me is, uh, is trying to mind the slitter and make sure we don't lose it because at that time you couldn't go to a, a bag and get another one, you had to mind the one you have and the whole family would be out and we, if we lost it, looking for it in the ditch and praying to St Anthony and all that, that was the, I, was, I always remember those days when we had to try to mind the slitter at home. I suppose like when you're in Trinch and GA you would have a number of and, and as I mentioned earlier when we were growing up in the in the teenagers in the 70s uh, the one the infamous Jimmy Barry Murphy was probably uh, someone that uh, we all looked up to because as I said earlier the, the 19 year old who broke on the scene what he achieved in minor 21 senior hurling and football and then for me to, to go and work with him afterwards play with him first and then work with him as selector and coach was fantastic but uh, was outside of that, I got to know a guy called Turn Sambo McNaughton um, through hurling. Uh, this guy uh, played hurling with Antrim, cushioned all, up in the lens of Antrim, uh, won an all star. And I got to know him in the 80s, and we've been friends ever since. And I've learned an awful lot about hurling the north, about the passion, uh, about how, what they went through during the troubles in order to keep the game alive up there in little pockets. And uh, what he achieved personally, what he achieved with Cush and Dahl and what he achieved with Antrim is, is unbelievable. And what they're still doing to keep the game alive up there uh, and supporting it and training and coaching across Ulster, even to this day, I think from an overall perspective, uh, he would be my, I suppose, my most admired GA person uh, in general. I suppose everybody says when you win an All Ireland medal, and I was I was lucky enough to win a senior hurling medal in 1986, and that's that's a fantastic achievement. And um, uh, then went on and, and I was in Valwa Cork afterwards as a as a selector, then a coach, and then a manager. And there was a few things stick out. The All Ireland medal, obviously, the <coughs> the coaching the team in, in 2014 when we we won almost a championship here against Limerick in the last game and before the, this this uh, Pocky was redeveloped. That was unique with Jimmy as the manager. But I think from my own perspective, <coughs> it would have to be when I was when I was man manager of the team. Um, I was involved for a number of years and uh, as, as I said, a coach and selector, and then to become manager in in the end of 2015. And the team was in somewhat of a transition. We had a very challenging 2016. Uh, we took a decision that we kind of needed to go a different route, and, and we created development squads and brought young lads, brought in a lot of young lads, and. Um, I suppose try to create a foundation for Cork Hurling into the future. Myself and, and, and the management team I had with me and Pat Ryan, Dimro Sullivan and, and Pat Hartnett. And, uh, and we're starting out in 2017. We were, I think we were 50 to 1 for the All Ireland and favourites for relegation in the league and 33 to 1 or something for the Munster Championship, something ridiculous like that. And, and we end up drawing the All Ireland champions and above in their back garden to Pereira, the old enemy. And uh, we ended up that day with um, with five debutants and three 19 year olds and, and they played outstanding, the whole team played outstanding and backed it up again the next day and then again in the Munster final and to win a Munster championship that year uh, with those guys was fantastic and unlucky in my view not to at least compete in the All-Ireland final and we see now that they went on last year and then um, and backed that up with another Munster championship and going well again this year so it's uh, I suppose there's a great satisfaction in that from a manager to to um, to be involved in that transition with a good management team and, and we see I said these lads will be the I said the foundation of cock hauling for the next for the next decade and that's that's really really satisfying that you can move on if you want to move on and, and you hand over the franchise in a good place. And I suppose that's whether it's business or sport or anything, I got huge personal huge personal satisfaction from being involved in that in that transition process.